Hey, this is Aaron. Today I'm with the 2021 Toyota Venza. This is in the limited package. This is also the hybrid. So uh, the Venza has made a comeback a couple of years ago. Uh, it was a wagon style SUV uh, back in the day. Didn't sell terribly well. Toyota discontinued it for a couple of years, made a comeback in the current iteration. Uh, the hybrid itself is probably the best of the bunch as far as the Venza goes. It adds uh, not a whole lot of horsepower. It's 219 total system horsepower here. Uh, you got a little two and a half liter engine and then you've got uh, the motors and so on that go with it. This being the Toyota Hybrid Synergy Drive. But uh, you get uh, the blue badging, which is cool, but you also get, see this uh, kind of a delete on the uh, grill work kind of makes it a little more electric looking. Uh, it's also just a nicer looking car. Toyota went a little more on the crossover SUV and a little less on the wagon with this. So as we look at it, I want you to notice that and just pay attention to the design style. It's just uh, very, very good looking when you kind of put it all together. So overall, the Venza is a really good vehicle. Uh, it's just about right size depending on who you are and it has a lot of great stuff in it. Um, the infotainment takes a little bit of getting used to because it is not like other Toyotas. Uh, this is the newest of Toyota's infotainment. I'll show you a couple of photos of that. Really well done once you get used to it. Um, so like I said, if you're used to the old Toyota uh, infotainment, this will take some getting used to, but it is much more advanced, way better to use. Now, uh, let's talk about fuel efficiency because it is a hybrid. So I might as well just bust out the Monroni. We'll look at the fuel numbers and everything else and I'll tell you about it. So to start with, we're looking at about $43,000 all told with delivery uh, before any extras. This is, this particular one is about 40 even, 39,800. Uh, the panoramic sunroof, if you want that is $1,400. Personally, I don't like those sunroofs, uh, but a lot of people do. They're very popular. There you go, $1,400. Um, so for fuel efficiency, this is rated at 40 in the city and 37 on the highway. I've been getting slightly better than 37 when I did my highway loop. I did a little better than that, but part of that is because that highway loop is currently under construction. I wasn't able to go faster than 65 miles an hour. That's really gonna make a difference in those highway tests. Normally I do them at 75. So uh, for a hybrid like this, that's a better case scenario than 75 miles an hour. Uh, so you, you'll probably, I think, be able to achieve that 37 no matter who you are. The 40 around the city, I have no idea how to test that. Um, I, city numbers are just really really hard to test uh, because the real world is not like testing but uh, i don't see why you can't get that 40 miles a gallon out of this it goes into ev mode every chance it gets and runs on that battery so wonderfully done there i really like the way that uh, toyota put that together the hybrid in this and in every toyota there is a hybrid option is really really good so let's look at the design let's talk about it from the side so you can see from the side that they did a lot to emphasize the crossover part and de-emphasize the wagon part. It still has the wagon slope to the rear. So you can see how the windows uh, come into, they're kind of an eye, uh, uh, eyeball shape, an eye shape. Um, and then you can see the back end sports and then has that roundness to it. So that creates kind of a sporty move to it. But instead of leaving it round, uh, they added sharper angles, which gives it a little more forward movement and also just makes it look, I don't know, less, I don't know. Anyway, looks less like a wagon because of that. So when I step into the picture, you can see here just the movement of the lines. So they took the fender line here uh, and the, the hump, the cut off of the, uh, the hood here and created this fender line and it runs along and then smooths and evens out. And then you can see it's almost non-existent here. The belt line is very, very ill-defined on this front door. Whereas on the bottom, they have a very sharp uh, beginning to this, to this line here that kind of swoops upward towards that rear fender. All of this is to emphasize the rear end of the vehicle. So that back here, as this line gets sharper, the belt line gets more and more defined as you go along, 
this also comes out and it creates a bigger hump so more muscle in the back of the car that gives it less of a station wagon look and a lot more of a crossover or big suv look so you have just kind of that and then there's flares it flares out down there slightly it flares down here and it just creates all of that muscle meanwhile the roof stays straight but doesn't look like it's staying straight because the line moves because of the window and this line right here there's a little faint line running along here it creates that curvature then back here instead of rounding it they did that makes this sharp edge right here that creates uh, a little more of a of a it keeps the speed factor going that you want with the round rear ends the sporty rear ends uh, but it gives it more of a uh, a sharp faster appeal and it gives it muscle uh, going along with this here to make it look like a big fender when actually the fender is not till way down here so just a a wonderful look i think they did a really good job making this look like more of an suv and less of a wagon uh, which is probably why they had i think they struggled before uh, because it looked too much like a station wagon now cargo is really good in this um, i'll show you a photo uh, it's it's really good in this but you do have to account for the slope of that door so you do have to account for this um, but the cargo area loads all the way to about right here so it's a very large cargo area interior is very comfortable I don't think I would seat five, um, not on a regular basis, just because of the size of the vehicle. You can get five, uh, three people across in the back row, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit of a squeeze for most people. So um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna keep going. It's just a wonderfully done car, beautiful design, uh, I, way better than it was before. And it, it's competitive now. This is a very competitive look. So I like, the, I like the feel of it, feels good on the road, and I like the look of it. It looks a lot better than it did. Just a, a big uptick for Toyota here, and then the hybrid system is phenomenally well done. So there you go, that's what I got. I think my chief complaint with this is just that it's not the right size for my family, uh, because I have three kids that are quickly becoming teenagers, uh, and for some people, it may not have the drive dynamic you want. It's not fun to drive, but it drives really well. So if you're looking for a fun drive, this is probably not where you need to go. Um, in fact, I don't know that I can name anything in the Toyota lineup in anything like this category that's fun. Uh, that's not Toyota's thing. But really, really well done for what it is and for this hybrid system, which is really nicely done. So good job, Toyota. This has been Aaron with the 2021 Toyota Venza. Talk to you again soon.